Today on The Dap, we have a real dude Gus guy named James Stanley on to talk about comedy during the apocalypse. Also, we discussed Wambian, mailing lists, the latest Supreme Court ghoul, tongue fissures, WAP culture, and unsurprisingly, gnaws in my vagina. So uh, enjoy all those things. Dude, the worst is when you're like taking a dump and somebody walks in, notices your shoes, and it's like, sup, James? And I'm like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Gonna start taking my shoes off. <laughs> Leave them like, on the counter. Just like put them on the toilet paper thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a really so funny move. So instead of them being like, hey, James, they're like, who the fuck? <laughs> yeah, gonna be like, he's uh, barefoot I, he's, in the I, public guy, bathroom. Other, he's either Muslim or Japanese. Japanese. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely weird. <laughs> Yeah, one or the other. Either way, Trump 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Do not start it all right, all this right. early. Dude. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Dude. Absolutely. Dude, absolutely. Are you going to chew with your mouth open the whole time? No, I was just doing it to be obnoxious. Son mm-hmm. of a bitch. You know what? You turned me on to the fucking gum thing because you said that I had fucking halitosis. Halitosis. <laughs> are, you doing that, uh, are, are we recording? Is that a phobia yeah, of not buttons. having gum? You hit all the buttons. Okay. No, it's like <laughs> I literally got. We were like going to do fucking we cool, and I get in the car and Chris is like, "You want some gum?" And I was like, "No, I'm good." And he's like, "You sure?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." And he's like, "You need gum?" And I was like, "Does my breath smell?" He's like, "It's horrible." Uh-huh. And I was like, okay. So then I took some gum and I was like, it's like, it didn't feel any different. Like I had just brushed my teeth. Uh-huh. You know? So I was like, I mean, is it always bad? And he's like, every time. Damn. Your breath is terrible. <laughs> yes, yeah, stinky breath. Or no, no. You opened by being like, for your fucking halitosis. And I was like, <laughs> is it that bad? And like, nobody's ever diagnosed me with halitosis. Is no it halitosis has been or like, halitosis? Like breath from hell. Dude, that guy's got fucking halitosis, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, and then he's like, no, sorry, dude. I have a really sensitive nose. Like, go fuck yourself. You already ruined my day. <laughs> I do have a sensitive Chris nose. Is, Chris is like gagging. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm pregnant. Dude, dude, please take some gum. <laughs> but like, he's gonna, nev- uh, like, we've been. Uh, We've been seeing each other at least once a week for however long, mm-hmm. <laughs> and more than once a week before that for a year or so. Yeah. Never mentioned it once. Is that why you made him sit over there? <laughs> Could be. I mean, it just, it like, uh, I was just like, bro, you fuck. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I'm so excited because the other Alex Petra is here today. What? See, you looked. I told you you were going to look. What did you say? Beow, beow, beow. I said the other Alex Petra is here today. I'm confused. Because you guys yeah, look so much alike. Do we? Do we? Yeah. He's got a mustache, long hair. He's taller than me. Yeah, but th- with the way glasses. Cock. <laughs> yeah, way bigger cock. <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> to put your guys' faces together here. Maybe, he- no, here. And then the audience, th- th- co- co- comment below with who looks more like Alex Petra. One person's gonna be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how you sleeping? So I'm sleeping. Are you? No. Oh, James, okay. how are you sleeping? All right, I think. Oh, the incomparable James Stanley's here. Why are we doing first, a duck duck radio first thing? First guest gotta, on dude absolutely. Okay, then fucking scratch that. We're doing our own dude thing. Okay, how do you want to introduce him? I want you to say the incomparable James Stanley, and then we're all going to go, dude. Okay. Right? Take two. Okay. Oh, guys, the incomparable James Stanley is here. Dude. Dude. Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck me. (laughs) Anyway. Hi, James. Hey, man. How you guys doing? We're, I mean, we're good. We don't ask how you're doing here. Oh, yeah. We ask how you're sleeping. Sleeping, I think, okay. Yeah. Uh, stop taking melatonin. Don't need it. Sleeping pretty good. I wow. think so. Yeah. That is you, awesome. You're better than us. Yeah. yeah. Used to used to heavily rely on melatonin because you know what I heard though. Insomnia. Melatonin is uh, good for your immune system. Yeah, it's good. It's like it's yeah. all natural. It's over the counter. You know. Well, that's what I've heard. It's no, like addictive. I've heard it. Like it it boosts your immune activity. Mm. It's probably some correlation. Yeah, it's a cor- it, because oh, it has to do with your sleep. Really, yeah. When you though. get a good night's oh. sleep, your immune system gets better. Yeah. You guys. Is every sleep medicine good for your immune system then? Like Ambien? 
Mm. Cannabis, well, maybe, but I'm going to start a, marketing but it that Ambien way. Is it a benzodiazepine? I don't know. I just know I knew a girl who took it, and then she had to like, stop because she like started I did hallucinating. The thing. <laughs> I did. I always say something that like could totally be wrong, and then I look at Mara because <laughs> she's the show's mom and make sure that we don't say dumb shit the without fact directing. Check. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it might not be a benzo, but it's it. It says non benzo diazepine. Oh, so it's that means literally without the benzo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's bad for your Twitter feed. Yeah. <laughs> Well done. Shouts out to Roseanne Barr. God damn. <laughs> Spitting bars about Roseanne Bars. Roseanne, Roseanne tweeted about that uh, that lady saying that she looked like she was from Planet of the Apes when she was oh, uh, yeah. in and drinking. That was the whole yeah. See, that confuses me, though, because, I mean, obviously you just looked it up, so it's not a benzodiazepine, but it like reacts similarly with when mixed It makes with people crazy. Like, you're supposed to... Be in bed when you take it. Yeah. Otherwise, if you stay up, you end up doing crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. dude. There's I had a friend like a who took it and she like hallucinated. I've heard that people will take it, fall asleep, but like their body won't shut off. Yeah, yeah. And then they you're like, like in a limbo walk, thing. But yeah. they'll like wake up in an intersection in their car. Oh, no. Like literally going through an intersection. Damn. Yeah, all right. I don't mean to... You know, direct the conversation too much, but I do have a topic of discussion. Which oh, yeah. cool. I just need to fucking get off my yeah. chest. Anybody else getting 37 texts a day from somebody who's like, I'm from the committee of dog fuckers, and we want to know who you're voting for for president. Yeah. Nah, dude. I got one call, though, and I just hung up. I swear to God, when I walked in here, it was the third text I'd gotten since I left my house. Man. Yeah. It's a 15 minute drive. I get nonstop. It's, it is not, and I get the phone calls too. So I have like, it's all day. And every one of them is from a different fucking, how many, first of all, how many fucking committees are there? And second of all, how did all the committees get my phone number? Yeah. Like every one of them. One of them's like, yeah. hi, I'm with the Colander Society of America. And we're wondering which kind of pasta do you think President Trump eats? If so, you know, yeah. two five five three seven five. Text us your wow. vote, and we'll suck off a giraffe. And you're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> These are important issues. These well, they all they issues. all have like have your name in it too. That's that's the one that fucks with me. They're like, "Hi Alexander," or "Hi Alex," and I'm like, this "See, is- for me, they get my name wrong, which I think is very funny." What do they call you? Like Ruth. Um, <clears throat> what was another one? It's oh. all it's all old lady names, mm. so they, like, they not even close. They always put their name in there too, like that's supposed to make them more trustworthy. Yeah, like, yeah. I got a What's Russell, up, Alexander. Gotta... It's Dylan from. Yeah, and then the next text. Sup, Alexander. It's Alex. It's, it's like, always what from you a do different with Dylan's too. phone. <laughs> it's from a, it's from a yeah. different number every time. I have blocked every number that's yeah, come same. in, and I still get them. Oh it's man! It's like who sold my fucking phone number and name and all my data? Yeah, yeah. Party part of me wonders that. Like when I signed up at the state fair because Caitlin was there and I just wanted to do something fun. It was like they had like a boot at the booths. Caitlin like wanted to go to the Democratic Party or the Democratic Farmer Labor Party booth or whatever. Okay. But there was like a fun activity you could do. So I was like, yeah, I'll fucking I'll fucking do it. So I just like nonchalantly wrote my shit down on the card like Caitlin did. Oh. Put it in the box. Dude, I so bet that I that's could do how the they got them all. And then I'm wondering if the Democratic Farmer Labor Party took all that stuff and sold it off to a bunch of groups like these campaign for, you know, not shitting outdoors unless it's January or whatever. And then they got a bunch of money from those people to help run their state legislature campaigns. I sold all of my data after taking Ambien. <laughs> Full circle. Nice. But yeah, that's See, but I haven't done that. And I still get the same amount. Well, it could be that um it could be that you signed up for something somewhere else and they had your phone number and other data. Like did you register to vote on Facebook? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bernie sold me out to the Biden campaign. Oh, well, maybe. Like, like I keep getting I get so I did many sign emails. up for a ton of shit for Bernie. There so you go. Maybe. I get so many emails from like, like literally I, I signed up to see a video that you could only see if you were signed up to Joe Biden's email list or whatever. I know. So dumb. Could have just waited like three hours and watched it on YouTube, <laughs> but I was like, I need to fucking see it now. Was it Meatspin? I don't think so. Have you ever seen the full version? 
No, on, I have on meatspin.com. It's like a, it's from an actual video. Oh. Like it's a clip. Well, I figured that, but like, what's it from? It's from a porno. <laughs> yeah, it is from well, a, a yeah, porn. I haven't seen the. Okay. Yeah, I, I, she's very beautiful. She? Yeah, trans woman. Really? Wow. She's gorgeous. I never made that connection. Yeah, because you don't. You only see. You so only much. see the crank. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. So mind blowing. Very progressive. Meatspin.com. Yeah. No yeah. one even ahead of, yeah. ahead ahead of, of its, its time. time. Yeah. yeah. Well, Funny. Learning something new today. Every day. Every I'm day. Turn my phone off one second. So that's one I don't regret watching because it was pretty good. One I do regret watching is like the further adventures of Goatsy. Mm. Someone sent this to me. Someone I met on like a video game forum. Is, ah, is, that's that's scary. Yeah, a little bit. A, little bit. <laughs> a lot of bit actually. Yeah, a lot of bit scary. Was it like homemade? Did it look like? Well, it was Blair the, Witch Project. It was the Goatsy person. I don't know who that is. You don't know Goatsy? No. Is that the guy who broke the jar in his asshole? Close. Yikes. But it's 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 you know it's the the spread open. Uh, oh yeah 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 that guy. The, the butthole. Oh yeah. That's Anyways, why. you know what I like about Monticello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in Becker, but oh, keep going. Small. Oh, oh, I live in Monticello. So I uh oh really I didn't know that mm-hmm. you moved. Yeah, I live with Caitlin now. Oh well. Anyways, this is my only flannel, you know, and uh, I went to a gas station like ten minutes away from here on my way here. And like everybody at that gas station looked just like me. It's yeah, <laughs> so yeah. weird. You fit right in. Yeah, it's it's a really nice, quaint. I like the idea of yeah, like uh, an OnlyFans, but only flannel. Only flans. Yeah, yeah only flans. Except, it, it, Where you do only porn flans. in a flannel. You do porn in a flannel, but the porn is just someone. Uh, solo style, just rubbing flan on themselves. I was gonna say, was yeah, or it's pudding. like flannel ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, was, I don't think so. Do maybe, again. maybe. I was imagining um, like dudes in the woods getting it on with flannels on. Sure, the sure. woods. Yeah, flannels belong in the woods, James. Not your, not your knowledge. fucking urban center. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that giant dirt road you need to go on to get here? You don't need to. But yeah, yes. I keep really? Telling, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so the first time I came here to do your podcast, uh, like probably over a year ago now. Yeah, yeah. I was going down that dirt road and it sucked, right? Because uh, yes. it's bumpy and, and you know. Correct. And then uh, on my way here, I was thinking like. Man, they probably have that road fixed by now, but it's <laughs> it's not under construction. It's just no. like that. That's how far away we are from right, civilization. Right. Uh, yeah, if, I, I mean, I can tell you after we record because okay. I want to tell people how to get to Chris's house. Yeah, but yeah. there's a much. It's well, not going to be my house. It's, it's like a yeah, mile dude, of bumpy gravel. Tight. <laughs> yeah, I had that thought like ten years ago when I came here the first time. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that. man, they probably have fixed that road by now, and it's like, nope, <laughs> no, that nothing road. to fix. It's just how it is. The funny right. thing is, half of it got paved really I, okay so it used to all be dirt road for some reason they were like we'll take care of half of it it's not sweet I'll tell you that speaking of not sweet do you, have you been seeing the the stuff about biden that's been coming out oh god now what i knew it was gonna happen i haven't i'm dumb i don't pay attention to stuff very stupid what but happened what happened now? uh so like he was he he strategically wasn't fighting against integration like so he was a politician back when segregation laws were still uh like happening they were still active and yeah 47 years he is on record like not directly debating that but he used the guise of buses Oh, the busing stuff? Yeah, Kamala blew him up on this last year. Yeah, that's been a thing for a long yeah. time. Yeah, but they, they brought it up that. again. Oh, of course they did. It was a new thing. Yeah, because <laughs> the it. elections, you know, coming up. I of heard, course they brought yeah. it up again. Yeah. Soon, I guess. Oh, I thought I, mean, I had yeah, new information. Yeah, yeah, he was he was anti-busing. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like... It was a different time. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Dude, have you guys been watching any of these hearings for Amy Coney Barrett? No. no. 
Yeah, I'm Thank poisoned you. by all this Thank stuff. Thank you, Mara. Yeah, I also have been. <laughs> It's, it's important. See, but I'm doing. I, I you can't. know what's you know what's more important than the fucking presidential election? Uh, the yeah. pandemic. This ghoul that's getting on the Supreme Court. S- the <laughs> Supreme Court. Oh, yeah. Because they're there forever. Uh, President's there for four years. Yeah, that's why I don't like learning about this stuff because I just get bummed she's out. She's literally and I can't like, okay. Fix I don't being, mean to be, a, you know, you know, I don't mean to be like a dick or insensitive. But how old was Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Eighty three. Right. Yeah, Nine ninety two. 83, I think. 47. Amy Coney Barrett is 48 years old. Yeah, she'd be around for another like 38 years. And she's Republican or? She is. So that's the thing is you have to be nonpartisan, but oftentimes, because it's really, it's purely about your your interpretation of the Constitution. That's, that's what being on the Supreme Court is about. Is she the one that like made trans women go into like male prisons or something like that is that was that a thing she did or I am i think thinking so. of something i think else? they've pinned that on kamala oh okay okay which sounds like something she would do because uh, awesome because being tough on crime also <laughs> sort of means being a fucking asshole it's true yeah like blocking evidence for mis or for uh trials that uh people were since proven innocent in trials that evidence would have come back or evidence would have changed the the verdict to in uh not guilty yeah she blocked evidence and then when those people asked for like a retrial or an appeal because they were innocent of their crimes mm-hmm. she bl- she blocked the evidence for them to be able to have an appeal yeah that that just so everyone knows both sides are pretty shitty yeah. Uh, so a really great uh, post that I saw today, uh, someone was like uh, a picture of themselves with a I voted sticker and um, they were like, I voted for Biden, but we all still better be rioting in the streets afterwards because this is not a victory. I was like, oh man, that's dark. But like when you yeah. think about it, yeah, right. no, no one feels good about what's going on. Right. Well, <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, we can get into that. If you want to, I mean, I'm happy to go on a fucking diatribe about this shit, but I don't really want to bore the seven people that <laughs> want to listen to this. Basically, show. like healthcare is going to go away. And yeah. Roe well, v. Wade, like stuff like that is the stuff well, they're, and, they're targeting. So, so to kind of go back to what I was explaining about the Supreme Court, not to like, you know, speak down to you if you're like, yeah, I fucking know all this stuff. Say something because I don't want to be an asshole. I, I know very little about the Supreme well, Court. Well, so the. Obviously, there's the three branches of government, the Supreme Court being the uh, the interpreter of the Constitution. So when cases are brought to the Supreme Court or issues are brought before the Supreme Court, like additional issues to um, look over past precedent. So when a, when a case is decided that changes laws or the course of history, it sets what's called precedent. And then future cases that have a similar nature to that past case Mm -hmm. uh like that the verdict of that past case will then be used as a means to like come to a conclusion on the new this new case interesting older issues can be if if pushed through congress can be brought again in front of the supreme court which is why they plan to appeal things like roe v wade the aca and um, I forget what the third one is. Well, gay marriage, but there was an actual case that decided that. But anyway, so um, so sh- she aligns most similarly to Justice Justice Anton uh, Scalia, ooh, who was a very they, they're called um, originalist. It, yeah, I was gonna say they're very originalist, which is like based on. Uh, the Constitution as it was originally written. I see. So you say, you can say that they're nonpartisan, but because of those, like the differing views that justices have, and like as a as a conservative in the seat of the president in the Oval Office, you're not going to appoint somebody whose views would challenge the things that you want to pass while you're in office. So like oftentimes 
you'll find a more originalist from the right and then from the left what do they what do they um 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 fucking cool uh, well <laughs> see but yes and no so like <laughs> i'm just um, kidding i don't know it doesn't i guess it doesn't really matter but so sh- she actually was a clerk for Anton Scalia. So, like, she can say all she wants about, like, she doesn't have opinions on these certain things or can't provide an opinion in the abstract, meaning, like, without the case in front of me, I can't just, like, you know. Yeah. But, like, based on who she's worked for and the cases that she's tried in the past and the uh, things that she's overseen in her career in law, like... Yeah, it's pretty easy to to have some sort of inference or infer like how she's gonna respond to these sorts of things. And now at this point, it's gonna be like a six to three majority. So, um, kind of tough. I mean, it, when when we had, I don't want to say we because I don't really pick a side. I'm very centrist, but mm. like there are certain things that you know, obviously, we shouldn't limit certain freedoms if we're going to be talking about being small government it's like the conservatives seem to want to limit the size of government and also limit people's choices and you're like hey man fucking pick one because you don't get to be an asshole on both sides of the ball yeah sorry unless you're a human centipede what yeah wow well in, in which case everything is an asshole Yes and no, because it's not your asshole, right? But when you sides. when when you're it's our when asshole, you, yeah. So it's communist. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. nice, very good. Yeah, the okay, the, the most human communist centipede. bug, <laughs> <laughs> the human centipede. Speaking of communism, James, you and I were talking before we started recording about uh, how comedy has changed. And oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just watching James work out how the fuck you got. That was awesome. Yeah. Communism. But yeah, like, man. I had no idea that so many comics had dropped off and stopped doing stand up or open mics. Yeah, dude. There's a there's probably like a good portion of the scenes like not active right now. At least I don't know if like everybody's like quit, but like there's definitely people who like just aren't coming out, and like rightfully so. You know, I'm yeah, stupid sure. for, for going out for sure, but you know. You know, I wear a mask, social distance and stuff. Don't let people fucking touch me. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think Chris and I are in the same boat. Well, yeah. Chris, a little bit different than me, I would say. I mean, you're also, you know, in fucking recently eight months sober. That's hey! fucking hey! cool. Congratulations for Chris. Thanks, guys. Um, but it's tough to be in an environment where, like, not only is alcohol uh, sold, it's also preferred that you consume it yes. yeah <laughs> they give it to you for free right that's true right so um it's interesting though because when i was at sisyphus uh filming the we cool yeah the we cool podcast thing it didn't didn't bother me at all oh, yeah. and i love the beer there yeah well in sisyphus isn't like a traditional bar i mean it's a brewery so like you're yeah but that's my wheelhouse because like nordic but, was but like uh People aren't, uh, I would say you don't actively choose to go to a brewery so that you can abuse alcohol. Mm. If you want to abuse alcohol, you go to a bar. Sure. Because it's cheaper and easier. Like you go to a brewery because you want to enjoy the beer and the people you go with. And, sure. And, you know, the company, the I would say the whatever. sweet, sweet comedy. Like I, the comedy that, like at the Keller that you guys are going to do tonight, most of the people that are there aren't there to watch stand-up. They're there to get fucking bombed. You know what I mean? At Sisyphus, people are there to watch stand-up, and there's also beer. And board games. Yes. And you, pinball. They do have pinball. And shuffleboard. Yep, and that shuffleboard thing. It's barely a brewery, really. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the worst form of social distancing. Go play shuffleboard with somebody. You're just... Yeah. You, 15 feet doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> passing it through them on a... Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so that's... Uh, COVID is why I haven't been... Yeah, yeah, of out. course. Yeah, And definitely. also, living in Monticello now, like, I'm perfectly halfway between the cities and yeah. St. Cloud, but that also means I'm 35 minutes away from both. So Yeah. I don't know. 
this has kind of been my creative outlet lately. I feel yeah, like I'm as kind long of, as you have. Well, same with like you know Ryan. You know he's yeah. not really doing comedy anymore. Yeah, like I tapped into the it pod. here, and I just kind of feel like <laughs> he's got the pod. He does. He's got the pod. Yeah. Oh, but, I thought you said he's got the bod. Oh no, he's got the. He pod. does have that too, though. Because <laughs> yeah. good gad. Yeah. Well, and he was wearing those shorts when we went over there to record, and I was confident the entire time that his bag was going to slip out the bottom of them. Yeah, because for they sure. Were super thin and super short. I mean, it was, he could have been wearing a banana hammock and it would have had a better chance of protecting his bag from coming out of his pants. Wow. But somehow, man, I don't know. Maybe it had like the swimsuit liner in it. Oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah but know. probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is comedy? It's fine. You know, it's different for sure. Uh, I definitely judge the audience members a little bit but like i'd never say you know like what do you if mean? i wasn't doing comedy if i wasn't like performing and making money from shows and stuff i probably wouldn't be going out to watch comedy you know yeah well it's part of your livelihood yeah and it's also part of your livelihood yeah yeah and like so dumb <laughs> and you yeah, just yeah, say, yeah totally yeah yeah i mean i didn't want to embarrass you or anything but thank no, you, thank you, thank you thank he's, he's uh, a good guest he is well we knew uh, that going it's definitely it. different like acme seats 275 before covid and now they're like less than 100 which is still drastically more than most other mics so yeah you're still but getting, we're not getting like almost 100 people every mic i mean it's it's still the best mic you know but Everything's spread out. There's like plexiglass walls. Everything's, you know, people, there's not a lot of uh, chairs by the front of stages at mics. Yeah. You know. What's crowd work like right now? I don't do I it. I was going to say. I suppose acting you're not doing crowd work. No. Well, but you're not a crowd work guy normally. No, not really. I mean, yeah. people do it like well, shows I mean, it, it didn't necessarily need to be you in general. Um, you know, oh. Yeah, I mean, people have been doing it still. I think it still is. Is it? something to do I feel like people are the, one of the the other reasons i didn't so covid is the umbrella yeah you know but like there's a lot of reasons underneath covid like obviously i don't want to get sick i don't want to pass it to other people but right, i also right. don't want to fucking listen to people talk about covid and like try to make jokes about it oh yeah i and don't it, uh, it, i just feel like it would get really old and i that's me assuming that yeah i've like barely that. heard covid jokes that's good because i feel like that's the most hacky fucking yeah thing yeah you definitely right it's now. like talking about like trump because like everybody like yeah, like we get it. It's like what's you guys happening. Are fucking doofus. And good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Nice observation. Uh, are there's you a, Jerry Seinfeld? There's a TV going? show basically dedicated to making him look like a fool already. The Daily Show. Yeah. And people are already watching that. And not that many people are watching it because it's yeah. pretty bad. It's yeah. Not. not a lot of COVID jokes. Not a That's lot of good. riot jokes. Uh, but the ones I do here, they're like fine. They're obviously like, you know. They spend time on them. They, well, it's a different, you they, know, it's not just a, like... They work because they're good jokes. Yeah. It's not, like, the punchline isn't, ha uh, COVID. Right. So, that's good. I mean, are yeah. you... I mean, it's fine. I'm enjoying doing comedy Are you working still. every weekend? Uh, no. I have some stuff lined up. Uh, I'm at, featuring at Sisyphus November 13th, and then I was at Camp Bar this past weekend. I was at the House of Comedy on Sunday. Fucking a, dude. Yeah, dude. I've been I've been doing some stuff. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, well you. deserved, but yeah, also thank you. good for you. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Like you. Yeah. There was this was gonna happen at some point. Yeah, yeah. Glad it is. Thank you. That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. I think everyone has the same opinion of you too. I mean, I can't even. I have no idea how many times I've mentioned you. Like whenever I, I like we have a a comedy guest on the the other show. Um. I'll say like I love the way you write. It's you and James Stanley. Like Hell I'm never yeah. like you're my favorite writer. It's always like you're pretty good, but also James Stanley. Yep. Ah, oh, thanks, Just to man. That's cool. Every time. Well, I, I and I, I mean, obviously it comes with you've spent a lot of time trying to perfect that part yeah. of your. It's like you know. Yeah. And that's I would say like out of not to not to uh, diminish any. Uh, anything else about your comedy it's just like that's your your writing is the strongest part of your comedy thank you man and then i think you know that's if i had to pick like a stronger part you know like writing is very important in comedy uh yeah it's like it's like there's performers and then there's writers right you can only get away with performing for so long before 
before you need to write and then the people who yeah. can't write because they only perform yeah uh end up falling by the wayside right that's very interesting I, be, there are other facets to comedy like i've never thought about it that way i just always assumed that like you needed to be a good writer but there are people that like there's pandering yeah and, and there's, there's people that are like well, okay writers but their their stage presence is great people like they're very lovable and likable on mm-hmm, stage mm-hmm. they like talk to people you know they're like, like good Dane with crowd was work the most popular comic in the world yeah is he actually a great writer or is yeah he just like was his stage right. presence so commanding that people yeah. were like this guy's hilarious even though he wasn't and if you're like a good performer and on top of that you're just like a funny dude mm-hmm. you can get away with not like having the best writing you yeah know? You can, for sure but like like but I enjoy comedians where like I'll be like, oh, that was a really good joke. Yeah, like that was. That's why a like, very. I good. gravitate to. It's weird because I'm the opposite. Mm-hmm. I'm very much like performer, stage presence, and then yeah. and then I tell stories because I'm not a great joke writer. Yeah, like, you could do. Joke. You got good jokes. Well, the jokes are uh, amped up by the story itself. Sure. It's like I've always been a storyteller, uh-huh. so that's what I lean into. Which I don't take i take pride in that you know like it's yeah. not a bad thing yeah um, that should be your the name of your special is stories and tags dude i was you, gonna <laughs> say i was uh, when i was growing up i always wanted my first comedy album to be my parents say they're sorry that's funny uh for like a few years ago i was like man you know it'd be a good comedy album uh i hate myself because i say that like all the time and now joe list yep. yeah i was like i was just gonna say so yeah. joe list mark norman dan soder all those guys like i love their yeah, Jolis is awesome. Jolis is a fantastic yeah. joke. If I was anywhere close to having a comedy album, I would have been like, Arr. but I was like, ah, oh, that's that's such a good. I hate myself. I love it. I love. I love. Well, it, when that special came out, I remember being like, uh, not only like, I mean, I was on his Twitter. He was tweeting about yeah. it like every day up until yeah. when it came out. So I was so excited. I literally like woke up that day and fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but. The one the the thing I noticed like immediately is like he's now as he's grown he's like confidently himself now as mm-hmm. opposed to like before it was like his lack of confidence kind of made him sure yeah that, that his stage presence was his lack of confidence yeah and now it's like his total confidence in his ability to observe and yeah like make the jokes that he's making like yeah his Netflix is Joe is like one of your top guys right now yeah well, yeah yeah okay actually I mean. Chris and, and Mara have already heard the story, but I went to the doctor's office and oh yeah, he yeah. would like ask me about you know what uh-huh. I do, and I was like I do stand up, yeah, you know whatever blah blah. And he's like, who who are your favorite comics? And I was like, fucking, who are yours? Because yeah. I'm like trying to get a gauge of like if this guy's an, you know bullshitting or not. And he's yeah. like, I don't know, like I really like like uh, who did he say? He said Carlin, and I was like, okay. And then he was like, Sam Kinison, and I was like, okay. And then he was like, um, fucking, he's like, Bill Hicks, I think, is probably my favorite ever. And I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> this guy knows about comedy. Yeah. You know, like, he has, he's not just like, yeah, dude, uh, fucking like t- Kevin Hart, Rob Gronkowski. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rob Gronkowski. That's, I don't know. He had like some comedy thing. No, I know. That's a funny yeah. pull. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, so, uh, so he's like, clear the cable guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, who are your favorite comics? So I, you know, I'm like Joe List, Mark Norman, Dan yeah. Soder, and he starts like writing names down. And I like look over, and he's like literally writing the names of my favorite comics. Oh, uh, dude, he's f- a on, fan of comedy on my fucking medical chart. Oh, really? <laughs> so like forever now, when people are like, so what happened to that physical? It's just gonna say Joe List, <laughs> Mark Norman. That's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> I think my top people right now are like uh, Nate Bargatze, Rory, Sc- Rory Scovel, and Sean Pat. I couldn't. Okay, I could never really get into Rory Scovel. Really? Yeah, oh, dude, he's he's wild. I mean, if you like really fleshed out, uh, like someone who like like you know, like Rory Scovel, it's like a different. You know, yeah. you go to a Rory Scovel show not knowing what to expect. Yeah, really. for sure. And he's and, he's very much an entertainer. Yeah. On top of being a comic. Yes. Like that. What did you, I think you were brought it up that his special on Netflix, Rory Cor- Scovel tries comedy for the first time. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Is that but the it, one where he opens with like, hey, how's everybody doing? And then they're like, yeah. And then he's like, answer me. <laughs> he's no, just no, screaming it's where at the he audience. Go, he goes, uh, all right, so anal, anal, anal. Uh, Anybody in here tried anal? What about you, sir? You tried anal? Dude, and he's like- so funny. Have you seen his show, Robbie, <laughs> on Comedy Central's no. YouTube? He, I think he tried to get it on Netflix, but he couldn't for some reason. It's 
the funniest show I've ever seen. Really? It's so good. It's all on YouTube. Comedy Central's YouTube. It's called Robbie. And it's so well written. It's the funniest show I've ever seen. Okay. I'll it, check yeah. it out. Robbie. Okay. It's okay. Roddy Scovel show. I mean, I watch Trailer Park Boys. It's so fucking funny. Which people say is like a super dumb show, but yeah. it takes intelligence to be able to write a show to be as dumb as yeah. Trailer Park yeah, Boys yeah. is, which is like. And that's I like love the it. bit. Yeah. They got to be dumb. Yeah. So, like, anything written by comics. Yeah. Like that, dude. It's is, so um, good. super down. And uh, his "This is not happening" is also super funny. Yeah, have you guys that seen I, that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite "This is not happening" is by somebody who like nobody knows about. Uh-huh. Or, I guess not nobody knows about, but nobody knows like is actually a good comic. But uh-huh. Duncan Trussell's is. Oh my yeah, yeah. One by okay. A long shot. The one about acid. Yeah, <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, dude, Shane oh, Moss has oh, "This is not happening" about acid too. His, have you seen Shane, his? Shane uh-huh. Moss is also very, very good. Shane Moss is yeah, he's a very good comic. I like. Okay, so. And I feel like this is like people might call me a hack for saying this. I don't really give a fuck though because I still think he's hilarious. But I love Big J Okerson. I know that like a lot of people don't like him because he uses words that like you shouldn't use, or whatever. But like, and he leans into the like it's a joke, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But like yeah. it's he's not lying when he says like it's a joke. Like he's actually a good person. Yeah. Um, the way he says very simple things to say. Mm-hmm. The way he like makes them more elaborate than they actually are is to me like he talks about like how <laughs> girls will like hook up with a guy or like will live with a guy and then like not hook up with him and how he's like uh he's like you don't have any respect for like men like like I'm I, you do you think the guy sitting next to you like doesn't want to fuck you because <laughs> he like totally wants in in like to point in the front row or whatever and she's like, he, we're just friends. He's just like, no. Like, if you texted him after the show and you were like, hey, you want to come over? I'll blow you. Like, he's not going to be like, well, I'm not doing that, pal. You know, like, he's coming over. <laughs> buddy, what? Yeah, like, he's like, the guys guys and their guy friends are not the same way. Like, my buddy, he's like, he's, my buddy uh, Dave or whatever, he's like, if he texts me and was like, hey, man, you want to come over and suck my dick? Or want me to come over and suck your dick? He's like, you know, he's a decent looking guy with soft lips. Like, I'd invite him over for sure. <laughs> He's like, and then eventually I'd like, he'd start sucking my dick and eventually I'd be like, can't let my boy go home, (laughs) you know, empty handed. So then I have to start sucking his dick. And then eventually we're like, dude, what are we doing? (laughs) Let's stop sucking dick and start plowing some ass. And then (laughs) so like, you know, like to say plowing some ass, you know, I think it's, but then he's like, he says something about how his... (laughs) His buddy Dave starts giving him rhythmic pounds into <laughs> into his shitter, which uh, is like just to say long rhythmic pounds into my shitter instead of just saying like so Dave was fucking my ass. Yeah. So to me, I'm like, that's who else? He's is got doing? a big vocabulary. Who, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like it's not long but rhythmic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know how else to say it. Like yeah. his his way of uh, illustrating what he's trying to say is just so far beyond anyone that I. I mean, I just, I just think he's fucking brilliant. Yeah, but that's why I love *Impractical Jokers* so much. <laughs> <laughs> who's the Who's the fucking guy that's like friends with like Bert and them? Uh, uh he's he's friends with the with uh Sal. His name's Sal, I think. Yeah, Sal Pal, whatever. Let me know whatever. He's actually a, a, a comic, I think. Like an actual. Aren't all those guys comics? Yeah, I was gonna say. I thought they did like they're all comics. I thought they did like live shows. I think they're all like they do some different. kind of stand up or writing or something outside yeah. of that show. I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know. I haven't either. watched. They a lot all of it. they all considered themselves comics enough to write have this show. Yeah, yeah but, but this, also like. People who make funny videos on TikTok put like comedian in their bios too. Yeah, and you're like, oh, yeah, fuck yourself. Yeah, I hate that. Because like I put aspiring comic, you know what I mean? Mm. Aspiring comic, and then somebody on TikTok with sixty three followers will put comedian. Yeah, I don't put comic anywhere. I put a, a. I only used it to promote my comedy. Bitch. For a while. At least. <laughs> <laughs> the little stupid piece of shit. Speaking of pieces of shit, we all tore up pieces of paper and put them into the Stein of Is Truth. It, how long have we been? Well, talking? we've we've got we've so just, many of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. And I was we've thinking. got yeah, we've got additional. Plus, you know, this is fucking lame anyway. So let's just get it going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Go James, ahead, James. Why don't you grab the oh. sign of truth and then you can grab one out of there. You did the exact same thing that both of us do every time, which is like <laughs> you try to reach for it without getting out of yeah, the mic. Yeah, and yeah then we're you're both like, just like. It. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by Takashi Six Nine. We're worried. <laughs> <laughs> wrote that one Topher where do I where so do, do I just like yeah, throw just it on the ground yeah. yeah this episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by your friend that claims to have really eclectic music taste but it turns out they just listen to Cardi B and Shawn Mendes cause they're on the radio I, I didn't have any other ideas after my first <laughs> two so you got the shittiest idea sorry <laughs> uh this episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by James Stanley's Manly Pads. Strong enough for a woman, but made for a man. Yeah. I didn't write that one. I don't know yeah. who the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know you didn't write that one. <laughs> I know it has my name in it, but who did write that one? That was me. Okay. <laughs> the laugh. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by... Beauregards, Beauregards, yep. that is it? Okay. Yep. Beauregards, big Boeing, out of business, bow out sale, ties, <laughs> toes, thigh hose, everything must go. Coupon code, my dad is revoking my trust fund. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was a trust fund kid so bad, man. Yeah. So I would just do full comedy context, and Mark never work. It's tie hose. Oh, not well, thigh hose. Mar- <laughs> Mara's been doing... Uh, bow related uh brought to you by since the first week she was here and every week it's a new one okay very funny it's very inside baseball (laughs) all right this episode of dude absolutely is brought to you by tater joe's the only grocery store that carries exclusively potato based products yeah, we'd go somewhere else too. T- Tater Joe's. <laughs> Tater Did you Joe's. Write that one? Yeah, that's good. I like it. So stupid. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really good. Okay. This, this is the least confident. <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh at this. I do this every day. This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by. Holding in a fart till you go to the bathroom and blow a f- blow out a full brass ensemble into the toilet. <laughs> That's me literally every day. Uh, this episode every time of- I sit down to poop, it's like me, 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 me. This you episode break the Stein of-, of Truth. Oh no, Chris! Damn it! You broke it, Christopher. <laughs> This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by Jurassic Parks and Rec. Because if we don't build a playground in the Bronchiosaurus exhibit, nobody will. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. It's good. Thanks. Man, I can't believe I broke the fucking lid. Oh, uh, dude, now it's like a. You can weld it back. Ah, whatever. On there. Yeah. Mm, is this metal? You can use your hot glue gun, bud. Yeah. Yeah, but then I won't be able to open it. Yeah, but if you put it on the fucking shit. Fuck. I don't know, dude. I just spazzed out. So don't give me. I love how you give me that face. Like, you absolute idiot. Fuck. I don't want to have another one of mine here. Just, just trade. Where did? <laughs> oh, it did actually bust off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. Did you? All right. <laughs> Oh my god. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) That's good. I thought these were all gonna bomb, man. No. This this episode (laughs) This episode (laughs) This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by the Epstein Suicide Hotline. If you don't do it, we will. That's really good. Oh my God, that's Super funny. dark. Well yeah, done. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Very funny. God damn. This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by Bro Bose Rhinoplasty. No one knows like Bose. <laughs> did you fucking write a Bose joke? I that did is, it. That is not your place, Chris. <laughs> oh fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, this of episode shit. of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by the time you farted in church 
uh, and your dad dragged you out of the sermon. 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 I don't go to church. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to yell at you, but you know he's definitely done it before. And also, you had chili for dinner last night. So, whose fault is it really? <laughs> I yeah. think that one suffered from a bad read, personally. I'm but. also going to give it a bad read. No <laughs> offense, but... Oh, yeah. Can't read, dude. And give it some enthusiasm. I, I, just, I just learned how to read, like, two months ago, so... That's tough to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was the kid, like, during popcorn reading in school, they were like, uh... <laughs> and then everybody's like, dude, he's stupid. <laughs> he doesn't know how to read. Someone cut his hair with safety scissors, dude. <laughs> Fuck that kid. <sighs> Sorry, so aggressive. This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by Rock Bottom Brewery. Fuck it. Drink our hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Is that you? Yeah. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's very funny. This episode of Dude Absolutely is brought to you by Crest Chocolate Flavored Toothpaste. Only six grams of sugar in every tube. <laughs> <laughs> People are just eating it like astronaut food. Uh, this episode of dude absolutely is brought to you by tough bounce law firm find yourself in a tough situation and need help in court where you the zookeeper tasked with watching harambe did you forget to to spray the the romaine lettuce with pesticides call tough bouncing tough bounces today for a for a uh, for a constitution we will definitely charge <laughs> you for that piece of paper Chris. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 what's that word <laughs> oh that's this good. episode of duty absolutely is brought to you by tough bounce law firm find yourself in a tough situation and need help in court were you the zookeeper tasked with watching harambe did you forget to spray the romaine lettuce with pesticides Cool tough bounce today for a consultation we will definitely charge you for. Tough bounce, bud. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, team. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude, absolutely. <sighs> All right. Weekly fucking shout out about this. <laughs> weekly request to the audience. Hey, guys, set, send in your, your freaking... Uh, brought to you guys we really it would be awesome if you would send them in we would appreciate it it's fun way more fun to read them when we have no idea what's coming also uh for those of of my friends that this week because i finally listened to chris and actually posted all the stuff on my social media that started <laughs> listening if you're here again next week which would be this week i'm an idiot you guys i are fucking obligated to send in this shit because i well I don't know. Please. Fucking anyway. pieces of shit. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking at you, Carissa. Yeah. You fucking assholes. I don't think I have any <laughs> friends named Carissa. No? I don't think so. Oh, that's my cousin. <laughs> I'm friends with his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are we doing, are we doing prems now? I don't know. Well, where are we at for time? That went faster than I thought it was going to. 53. Oh, we got time. We could do prems though. Yeah. Well, let's say we got extra time. You said you had a couple of prems, eh? Yeah, a couple of prems, you know. Get some. First guest, that would be cool if guests brought two prems. You know what I mean? They could bookend the prems. Yeah. yeah. You can open it up and close it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm That's so what I was just going to say. frustrated because I forgot my fucking premise that I had. Oh, well, damn it. Well, I'm telling mine. You can look for yours. All right. All right. Uh, okay, this is like super rough. It's just like a thing I remembered from uh, like fifth grade. Uh, but basically we would bully this kid named Brandon because Brandon had like a weird tongue. <laughs> right? We like made fun of his tongue. But like uh, uh, so Brandon had what I now know is tongue fissures. <laughs> you know, like anal fissures, but like on your tongue. Yeah. So have you ever, you know, you ever see the people with like the cracked yeah, tongues? Yeah, like yeah, Like fucking like tired. Yeah, like, what's that called? We call them like BMX face. You Geographical fucking, tongue. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, uh, so we made fun of him for it, right? We bullied him. Uh, but he was also like a shitty kid. Like we weren't just like making fun of some poor kid with uh, anal fissure tongue. So is he like an asshole or like? Yeah, Brandon was an asshole. Okay. And then one day, uh, <laughs> Brandon was like, he tried to like 
make his tongue cool, you know? He tried to flip it on us. He was like, you know, this is really, really rare for tongues to be like this, uh, which is true. <laughs> but then he says, I could probably sell my tongue for a hundred dollars. <laughs> and now, like, obviously, like, that's like, wow, that's the dumbest trade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Not being able to talk, but you get the fucking bill. Like, what? Right, the <laughs> right. Uh, but like fifth grade me was like, that is a hard choice, dude. <laughs> do I want my tongue or do I want to like just have no worries for a year? <laughs> like just to be do I want my tongue? so much money. Do I want my tongue or do I want the Lego Death Star? Right, I mean, exactly. It's... And then it's like, uh, because like this is, this is why like you shouldn't play too many video games when you're young, right? Because in our minds, we were like rare equals money right <laughs> rare equals good and expensive yes but like especially on a part of your body rare equals gross like rare equals not good right yeah right dude that oh wow that's a that you got deeper and deeper and deeper yeah. into the original premise the yeah. whole time wow. that's a fucking good i've premise. never told that on stage yet so it's that's just a, yeah that's a good the premise. way cool. that you did yeah and I feel weird giving you notes because you're the guy, but oh man, <laughs> that like the 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 also what the fuck are you saying over there? Are you saying I'm not a guy too, dickhead? I before we did the premise, we I, we talked about how I say that he's my favorite writer. You're Aww. a storyteller. That's why he's sitting over there. I didn't want. I, th I thought yeah. you were gonna hit me today for some reason. <laughs> he did say that. He, was like, he was like, he was like, Alex is gonna sure. punch me. He's got reach. <laughs> I've been wanting to hit that for a while. Because you you thick with three thieves, dog, triple thieves, fucking cold cough and congestion. <laughs> Ooh, nice. You that's, found that's yours. What, that's why they call them triple C's. I get it now. <laughs> found your uh, found your juice. Promethazine. The fucking Watto voice from Star Wars Episode One. Nubian, huh? Anyway, uh, go ahead. You did a good job at it. I don't do a good job. I was doing an Italian guy. Yeah. Well, he's like for sure like a just my, a bummy ass Italian. Also, my alien. GPS says Monticello, which. You know, is that hilarious? Yeah. <laughs> well, Monticello. <laughs> there's a there's a Monticello. What is it? Tennessee. Mm. Could be somewhere down south. But they say I think it's Georgia. Takes yes. exit ninety three onto Monticello. That's how it says it. And that's what I'm like, movie <laughs> said. That's a, Siri, you stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> that's not how you say it, you dumb bitch. You had feedback <laughs> for James because, but you didn't want to give it to him because he's the yeah. What's up? Whatever. I was gonna say. Um, I like that. Um, the the tongue fissures. I've never heard it described that way. Yeah, very funny. And I think that's actually what they're called. Like I looked no, it's it up. Called ge isn't it called geographical, geographical tongue? Because Landon, my son, has it. Uh, so now you're a dick, James. Yeah, no, but you're not. That's <laughs> I, funny. But keep yeah. calling it that because now you can be like all you ass eaters. Turns yeah. out fissures are an STD. Yeah, I was trying to that like, because like you get uh, like one of the main causes for anal fissures is like anal sex, right? So I was trying to like do one thing with like, oh, maybe a so anal sex your mouth. Uh, I don't know, but you but suck a lot dick. of but <laughs> eat a lot of ass, dude. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Ground beef. It's fucking, yeah, dude. It says it's like, fissured tongue. On yeah, Google. yeah, fissured tongue. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's way different than what Landon has. We oh, were thinking, whoo, thank we're thinking of the same thing. You no, dude, I looked up, I looked things. up, uh, cause I found out what it was by going, uh, cracked tongue condition. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's like tongue fissures. It's yeah, disgusting. Ge Geographical Glad Landon tongue doesn't have it. Is where it's yeah, got no. the, it's got wiggly ass lines all over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. see, that's kind of cool. That's like another brain. Yeah. It's like, I got <laughs> Africa on my tongue. Yeah. That's also Africa, but like the, the, the <laughs> desert plain that's cracked. That's the Sahara. That part. Yeah. This is the Sahara. Uh, I, I would say uh, notes from me would be um, I like the like how how you just went deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, there's like tags, but it was like really you you kind of like set yourself up for yeah. another. Joke. Oh, there is one more part to it. I forgot okay, to tell. It. Uh, also, like 
this is probably not worth bringing up, but also like who's buying a tongue? Like, like <laughs> the only person that I can think of that's like buying a tongue, like that sounds like an ingredient to like a witch brew, you know? The only like, person like, who's like, buying a tongue is a guy with no tongue. Yeah, yeah. Because he sold his tongue. Right. Uh, but like, you know, like cycle. it's like we need fucking pig ankles and baboon teeth and a tongue of a child. And <laughs> now we have a little boy. <laughs> and, now we have, and now we have the cure for anal fissures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, but that is th- that part's funny too. To because as kids we thought so many things had more value than they actually did. Like I remember trying to sell so much dumb shit. Well, I love that you play <laughs> both sides of it. That was gonna be my second note. Yeah, yeah. Like you're playing both sides of that, where you're like, not only did we think things were worth way more than they were. Yeah. We also had no concept of what things. Or yeah. Of of the other side. You were, yeah, you yeah. were like, dude. Your tongue's worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a mansion. Yeah, I don't it's even like. I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, like, oh, dude. maybe like a doctor wants it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like right. doctors are just like, hey, kid. Right. Yeah. When you're a kid and like your parents like get a new car and you're like, yeah, my parents are fucking millionaires. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're not. My parents are they, fucking millionaires. They're actually in debt right my, now. My parents they stole my tongue <laughs> <laughs> to buy a new car. I like it. I think it's a good joke. Cool. Yeah. I do think like uh, play with the order a little bit. Yeah, like definitely. If, if you do the like who's selling tongues thing, yeah. Try to try playing with that being before the because I feel the like rare. You, did, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Well, because like I feel like you want to finish on like the best of the yeah. punchlines, you know? Because it's yeah. just like obviously that's how you, mm. you you close a show with your best, you know, close yeah, a yeah, joke yeah. with your best punchline. I would say play with them. To figure out which one's the best. Yeah. Turn into a prop comic. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Then, here's Brandon's can, tongue. And then you can <laughs> well, tour tell, with Carrot Tongue. Tell somebody, <laughs> see if somebody will give you, like, how much how much money would you give me for my tongue? And, okay. w- and whatever amount they finally give, you have a fake tongue in your pocket and you, like, turn around and, you know. Fake and tongue. Then you, you fucking here, dude. And, and then, you, fucking, then you finish your time out. by going, it's my fucking tongue. Dude. I can do my tongue. You man, you there. You just sound like sorry, Helen, Helen Keller. Keller. Yeah, <laughs> you sound like a deaf Dude, guy. Dude, Helen Keller wasn't actually blind or deaf. She just didn't have a tongue. Oh, that's kind of funny too. Mm. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. But it's kind of funny. It's funny. Um, all right, you find your primus. I'll, no, I, I. I'll do mine. I, I had okay, it in okay. my head. Cool. Um, there's no way I'm gonna remember. Do you have an old one? You can just break out and. I, I mean, since we brought up Helen Keller, I think it'd be funny if Helen Keller played um, Matt Murdock in in Marvel. You know she's, who Matt Murdock she's is? Daredevil. Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> Which she fears nothing because she knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she uh, like Daredevil. One of his like tags is in. I swear, like every comic book and every TV or movie. He always beats the shit out of somebody and tells them to stay out of Hell's Kitchen. Okay. And so I imagine like Helen Keller, how funny yeah, that would be. Throwing hands. Her throwing hands, right? Beating the shit out of Kingpin. And, and then, I just think so that was... fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but get this. Uh, 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 a, a person with, with, with a lot of barriers, right? Uh, and like... Uh, uh, they talk weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, I, uh, hear me out. Yeah. Adam Sandler already did it. This isn't my premise for the day. Uh, it just, now that you brought up. Uh, <laughs> so hear me out. A disabled person who <laughs> talks funny. Yesterday, Caitlin and I were watching Madam Secretary, which I love. It's a great show. But there's one particular part where they like have these, there's this terrorist group based in Libya and they're like putting up all their pictures and like saying all their names. And I just had this moment where I was like, I was like laughing so hard to myself. And Caitlin like is like, what? Well, I just pictured them like saying each of the people's names. You know, they're like, you know, this is Mustafar and Bagabo or whatever. And this is Mohammed something. And then this, and this is Jeff Johnson. And he's, you know, like the head of the operation. And they just like have, I just thought it would be so funny if like a serious show breaks out like and this is the worst of them all steve johnson yeah. you were gonna like, say steve jobs yeah yeah that would have been worse this is this is 
This is Greg Green. <laughs> Mark Smith. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, you're, and you're like, what? <laughs> Not saying that Mark Smith couldn't be a terrorist. He yeah. just probably yeah. wouldn't be in Libya. You know, I just thought that that would be kind of funny. Anyway. So my premise for the week, I don't have like any good punchlines yet. And the punchline I do have, I know isn't good, but I know the premise is good. Mm. So. It's like a filler punchline. Yeah, I don't even know if I would ever use it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like what it's you have just, now until just, you find something else. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, um, especially since, like, after the 60s, like, when music really, like, uh, became, like, the height of entertainment, you know? Like, it wasn't about, like, Butch Cassidy anymore. It was, like, about fucking Creedence Clearwater Revival and Jimi Hendrix. Like... People talk about how much like music reflects culture, mm. but people often I feel like don't talk about how culture reflects music. Like, yeah, like Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, and and so to me, like I I when I was like thinking about this, I was thinking of like all the how like rap culture today is like influencing how like other like pop culture phenomenon are like get or like how they're getting popular and what they're doing to get popular like it requires this new rap song with a new dance to be able to become popular on tiktok you know or like it requires this new rap song to become popular on instagram or like a pop song uh like that you turn into like your own little fucking like Sing song Eve thing on I, I I overheard Jason Derulo's new song. Have you guys heard that? No. You know that Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, the he, TikTok sound. Yeah, he <laughs> made a song oh, with that as the underlying thing. <sighs> anyway, so like to me it was just like you can you can see where the influence is like in culture all the time. And like when WAP came out, everyone was like fucking i have like a super wet pussy and i can move this ass around in a circle you know and it was just like took the world by storm and then like you hear for like a week yeah <laughs> and like you would hear like big deal yeah oh. but you would hear people who were like like public figures like on both sides of the spectrum yeah, yeah, yeah. were like talking about wap you know yeah is it like wap or wop i don't fucking know I think we got to get to the bottom be. of this. Isn't it funny that I say, well, they, I say WAP, song, too? In the song, they say, like, WAP, WAP, WAP. Oh, oh they do. It has okay. to rhyme with MOP, right? Uh, mm. So it is WAP. Yeah. So, like, like, there was a video that I don't know how... I think I, like, watched the music video for WAP, and then I, like, watched a Joe Rogan episode, <laughs> and then right there suggested for me was like Ben Shapiro reads the lyrics to WAP. Yeah, yeah. So was, good. There are whores in this house. There yeah. are whores in this house. There are whores in this house. There are whores in this house. Exactly. It's just like, like how That's a you, spot on Ben Shapiro. Yeah, it is very good. You just got to, you know, nerd it up a little bit. And, and you know, sound like, sound like an incel. Yeah. But the, so like, I guess uh, the, the premise, it's, word. <laughs> the premise itself is like, I, and I need to find punchlines for it because I feel like it's funny. Mm -hmm. But like the one punchline I had was like, Fortunately, people like don't take it too far, you know, because you're not like walking around the streets and like seeing a bunch of women with like soaking wet pants, you know, but that was like, that's not that funny. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's the best I could think of. Yeah. 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 But like the, 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 I guess the setup to the punchline for me kind of has to be like, thankfully people don't take it too far or like, thankfully it only lasts for a week. That's like the angle you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Because like. It's true that it has a huge influence on yeah, culture, yeah. but like nobody's walking around like actually drinking promethazine on the streets. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, mm. and maybe, maybe they are. I think, but uh, like, yeah, the setup needs to be like a lot shorter and like oh, for sure. get to it faster. Trying, yeah, I think I'm, it was mostly just thinking out loud. Yeah, All yeah, I definitely, like definitely. Sentence, yeah, but. yeah. Once you get to like the well, I've, I feel like the setup is, or the the. Like the open is people talk about how music reflects culture, but not enough about how culture reflects music. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. And then go to like the WAP and then yeah. go to the angle you want to go to. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like, I mean, I, and I think Rage Against the Machine is such a perfect example yeah, for of, sure. of that. Like, for sure. Anybody who even a little bit 
is like considers himself knowledgeable about music knows what a reflection of of the culture that like how much that influenced their music yeah yeah to then go on that opposite and with with WAP i i think that it that is a funny like idea like to almost be like like who was talking about wet ass pussy before that song came out right yeah me well it's like true. <laughs> There was like a song back in the day. Yeah. But that, my uh, neck, my back. Yeah. But that you know, wasn't about that wet pussy. And with uh and with that God, joke, that you word. can always switch out the newest song that's being talked about. Yeah. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's true. Or you, you could you can always could, keep it relevant. It yeah. doesn't like it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I you Good could call. You Thank could you. you could be like, and for the longest time I thought that they were talking about their buttholes because they kept saying ass pussy. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and then I was like, God, I hate having a wet ass pussy. That would get Anal leakage is the worst. You want to know how I stumbled upon it, the the music video and the song and everything is uh, first I saw all the tweets. <laughs> yeah. All the tweets. They're like Megan Thee Stallion, blah, 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 blah. Cardi B is talking about it. And then it's like, blah, 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 K- Caitlyn Jenner, fuck her. And then I'm like, what is happening? What What is all this about? I just <laughs> right. opened up Twitter and... Then I'm like, oh, there's a song. Okay, I gather. There's a song. Then I start gathering. It's called WAP. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what that stands for, but let's let's look it up. So I look it up on YouTube. Listen to the censored version first, thinking it's the real version. And I'm like, what's everybody fussing about? <laughs> oh, what's well, the, the censored version? It's like the first one that pops up when you Google but what search. But what do they say? Oh, wet, wet and gushy or something like that. And I'm like, I mean, clearly oh. they're talking about vaginas, but, you know, they're not being vulgar. Right. And then I, like, <laughs> finally heard the real version, and I was like, oh, dude, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, fucking, I don't know, people. <laughs> it kind of hits, too. That's the yeah, other yeah. thing. It's I not bad. And I like Megan the Stallion. I used to like yeah, Cardi B bad. more than... I do now, but I like Megan the Stallion. Well, and Cardi B, before she was fucking Cardi B, yeah. actually had some bangers. Yeah. I should, okay, bring it back. Mm-hmm. Some halfway decent songs. I'm not going to mm-hmm. risk all of my uh, reputation and knowledge, <laughs> especially given that my favorite rapper is Nas. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I just want Chris to zoom in on my face after uh. the Nas riff. He gets re- referenced every episode. Okay, okay. I was f- trying so hard to find a way to bring him in today. <laughs> but Perfect. This uh, was all built up. Yes. This whole, yeah. whatever, hour and 20 but, minutes. Like, I, I I guess I haven't listened to a lot of Megan uh, the Stallion, but... Yeah. But, yeah, like, that, it it just, like, it blew people away. Yeah. And then, like, people are using it in the fucking weirdest ways to, like, get famous now. Mm-hmm. Like where people are doing the WAP dance, but like for their grandparents, and they're like twerking and like slamming their. Yeah, the internet sucks. Yeah, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, the the worst ones I've seen, I've seen on Cringetopia, the subreddit. That one is, it's full of some real tough stuff, but. Uh. The best Cringetopia post I've seen actually was posted like a few days ago, and it was a lady who was like literally in tears about having to wear a mask for 45 minutes. And it was, I mean, it was, she had, she was a Karen, like to a T. She mm. had the cut, she had the fucking voice, she had the completely outlandish claims. I mean, it yeah. was, it was, she's like, it was so fucking funny. Was but, it real? Yeah, it was legit. Was it? I mean, she was full blown yeah. bawling. Chris, do you remember your premise, or should I rattle off my um, other one? I don't remember it, but I thought of an, another one. Cool. Bits. So Adam Sandler uh, has said that he wants to create his own like Marvel universe for the Happy Gilmore characters <laughs> that he's created throughout the years. Yeah, which is a hundred percent true. But. Um, the 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 first script is just him apologizing for how problematic all those movies were throughout the years. That's what he said. No. Oh, <laughs> but is that part true? The pro- <laughs> the the Marvel thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's uh, true. That's nuts. That is true. He does want to create his own Marvel universe, but it, you can't watch a single Adam Sandler movie without going. 
can't do that now can't do that now like the table read would look like is an happy old gilmore super problematic uh water boy kind of is i water boy super is yeah um but with gilmore i i would i would assume i don't know he does a lot of like um i guess wedding singer i don't think is too terrible it's been a minute since i've seen an adam sandler movie so dude the wedding singers i I'll die on this fucking hill. Fifty first dates, I don't like. I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's one good line, and it's not even Adam Sandler's. Yeah, I also don't even like the premise of the movie. Oh yeah, not I think at all. it's depressing. There's I don't just, think it's there's a good one good movie. part. It's when Rob Schneider dresses up for the movie that he's shooting to play for Drew Barrymore every morning, and then she, Rob Schneider, says, "What do you do for work?" <laughs> and Sandler's like, "I clean aquariums," and <laughs> Rob Schneider's like. Oh, aquariums make me super horny. <laughs> it's like the best. I think every single bunch movie... of my buddies. Shout out to Alex Nas, not the rapper. Alex Nas, he's the one who turned me on to that line. Well, anyway. here we go. Another episode. N- another. It already Nas. happened when you were on the shitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> but yeah, dude. I mean, the wedding singer is fantastic. Yeah. So really, good. It's really good. But yeah, I, he's I think losing his mind, and I'm reaping all the benefits. <laughs> but I think like um, every, I think every. I, well, I mean, in this climate, I would imagine that every you could find a problem in all, almost everyone that he did, like the spaghetti western that he did um, for Netflix. <laughs> what was what it was called? It? The like, Terrible Seven or something like that. It was something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not the Hateful Eight because that's the Tarantino movie. Yeah, it's yeah. the. It's a play. I know you ridiculous yeah. six. Yeah, ridiculous yeah. six. Yeah, that's right. One number off. Yeah. Any movie that has Rob <laughs> Schneider as a supporting character is going to be problematic. <laughs> yeah. Although he he isn't white. <laughs> Right, but Fifty First Dates is the only one that works because yeah, he plays like a Hawaiian guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But he's isn't he Filipino? He's Filipino, I think. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yeah, but yeah, like his. But like Polynesian is, you know. Yeah, I get it. But There's like Filipinos his, in Hawaii. But like his fucking character in Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Hip, hip hop, hip hop and the bonus. Ah, you give me easy ones. <laughs> so good. Yeah, oh, man. I like Steve Buscemi's character in that one. The, ho- the, the <laughs> homeless guy? Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, uh, <laughs> the kid's like, why? And then he just like tells him his whole life story. He's like, why? He's like, well, I made a lot of bad decisions in college. <laughs> he's like, why? <laughs> he's like, well, I got involved with the... <laughs> it's so funny. It's so good. Yeah. When, uh, when he goes, uh, when, he <laughs> when Buscemi's like, or Adam Sandler shows him the, the Happy Meal or like the Egg McMuffin or whatever the fuck. And Buscemi's like, anyways, I think uh, Sonny should be acquitted of all charges. If OJ can get away with it, so can he. This guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> he points at the black guy and he's like, Whoa. I love the... I love the <laughs> how did the Y bit end? Was it just like Steve Buscemi being like, you know, I never really thought about that. I think I'm going to call my mom yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, like, like, I think just he just fixes his, his call life. his dad. You're like, yeah, you like yeah. puts him on the right track. Yeah. That's so funny. Why? <laughs> I love the, I love the, well, first of all, that's Cole Sprouse's best movie and it's not even close. His yeah. best role in anything. <laughs> um, but the whole like Frankenstein, like you can do what you want part. And then the, like, what do you want for lunch? And he's like, 30 packets of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that kills me every time. And then they cut, and the next scene is him with just a plate full of ketchup. I'm like, this fucking kid, man. <laughs> and they're throwing sticks at the rollerbladers. Yeah, they're pissing on yeah. the wall. Yeah, dude. So good. I love that movie. Dent yeah. can policy. I thought that was a real thing for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike was up and down 2%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think I I I like the idea of like Adam Sandler having to explain why it's okay that he's doing each movie. Yeah. Like, well, you see, actually this yeah. is empowering special needs people because 
they can play football too. Right. <laughs> like the the, the bet yeah, dude, the noise he would make when he was running to tackle somebody. <laughs> like, dude, that's, yeah, that's, that's one step away from dirt. Look, to dirt. as long as we give them a main like, we can make fun of these people a lot. As long as they have a good role in the movie, it's okay. And, yeah. yeah, except he's not um, special needs. He's yeah, yeah. Adam Sandler. Right, right, right. But I don't. I would say there's a lot of people that would argue he. I mean, you just came in so hot, <laughs> yeah, and you knew it was gonna. I mean, you. I mean, yeah. Sheesh. But. Um, she ain't not the, 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 the devil mama you you, you, you you the devil yeah Ouch. that was water boy right yeah it was okay yeah, yeah. otherwise you are <laughs> you are on your own we are quickly sliding out of frame um but yeah i don't know i feel like he's actually got some roles every every movie that he was in that wasn't problematic fucking sucked yeah yeah that's like, a really good point lick Dude, Click got dark. It did get dark. Click got real dark. Yeah, yeah. Too dark. I remember I saw it when I was a kid, and I was like, dude, I'm depressed. I mean, yeah. now. Yeah, and then everything's okay at the end, and you're yeah, like. Yeah, but it still happened. You get yeah, the, like, it the happened, hint that but it's then still, he yeah. like, wakes up in Beth Bat, or Bed Bath & Beyond, and you're yeah. like, this is. Did I just watch a two-hour commercial for Bed Bath & Beyond? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know. But I lo- I do love that. Christopher Walken plays the guy who's in the Beyond part. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond. Have you guys seen his special? Christopher Walken? No, no, no. Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Where he does all the songs. Yeah, I saw it live. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, it's so good. Yeah, I saw it at Treasure Island. It's so good. It's one of the coolest nights of my life. God. And actually, I forget, does he do the Chris... He does the Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does yeah. the trivia at the end. So... That ah, show, so first good. of all, was fucking awesome. Yeah. Was, just the lineup was incredible. Yeah. Swartzen opened. Yeah. And then, no, Schneider opened. Then Swartzen went. Then David Spade went. Did you know nice. Schneider has a special out? Yeah. It's actually not good. Um, of course it's not good. It, it the, the funniest part about the special for me is the promo that they use is the first 30 seconds of the special. Aww. <laughs> so you're like, well. There's no way this gets better. I saw a clip of... the best clip they could use to promote it happens right away. I saw the him singing with his daughter Mm. um, as a standalone clip, and that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But my initial thought was, oh, no. (laughs) Why do you have a special? Right. But Uh, Bar Mitzvah Boy, the best. The best of Adam Sandler's, the best song, I think. Isn't that in Eight Crazy Nights? Bar Mitzvah Boy, the song, and or his... no, that's the, the yeah, that's one of the that's yeah. on one of his, or that's in the special. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. The, I think it's the best song in his special. I think it's the so Farley funny. one. I I cried to the Farley one. Yeah, because per, part of it was like seeing it live, mm. and the other part of it was just like being around so many people that were yeah. just like so invested, not just so like in love with Adam Sandler and his yeah. comedy. It was a very it was a far older crowd than I expected for one, because it's a lot of people who like watch. I like how it was filmed when he in, like was a bunch on, of different yeah, venues yeah, and yeah. stuff. Our the where I was at is in it. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, they filmed. I mean, they were filming the special yeah. when we were there. What's the one where he's like talking about like a guy walking slowly in the crosswalk, oh, yeah. and he's like, "California laws will protect me." <laughs> <laughs> I do think the phone wallet keys is probably the most yeah. catchy of all of yeah, them. Yeah. Mostly because every day when I leave the house, I'm like, all right, phone wallet keys, yeah. good. <laughs> phone wallet keys, iPad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway. All right. Same time next week or? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, premise part two. Oh, yeah. You got to know. Oh, one. you got a second premise. If you guys want to end this, fine. But, uh, Would this you is like my- some dog shit candy first? Uh, nope. No. It's terrible. Uh, don't, no. Okay, do your prim. All right, so this one's a little shorter. Uh, but I had l- dealt with a lot of mental health, still kind of do. But at my peak, when my like my obsessive compulsive disorder was really bad, I was in this, uh, I was in like a bunch of different hospitals. And uh, I talk about that before this. So okay. it's like, so um, basically one of the girls I met in the hospital, um, like I was there for like really bad OCD and depression. And she was there for doing a bunch of acid 
and watching 12 hours of British television. And now she just has a British accent. Right? It's, it's crazy. It's like insane. Like I've, and like I was like 14, 15, and I didn't know anything about drugs or like it. And then I was just like, oh, yeah. Okay. It's just normal to me. And she was like, she like never broke it. She, she talked in a British accent. And then I found out she was like from uh, like the South, like Kentucky or something. And I was like, eh, it's probably an upgrade from whatever <laughs> you used to sound like. Uh, that's not that bad. Also, like, good thing you weren't watching like, I don't know, an old Godzilla movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> The Wire. <laughs> you know, anything that might get you beat up or canceled. <laughs> like, really you probably... Good, yeah. you. Good for you. Also, boringest activity to do while doing a bunch of acid, just watching TV. Yeah. You weren't with like your buds. You were just like, well, I'm going to experience the brain. universe. Right. Uh, but let's see what fucking British talk shows on it. This is, this I'm going to experience the person. universe through yeah. Downton Abbey. Yeah. <laughs> like you're 16 doing acid. Go out, go climb a tree, you know, like do something yeah. fun. <laughs> you can still don't, do you, Don't just sit on the couch. Both of those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good thing she didn't watch Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that again? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You know, so did you listen to the episode with Ollie? Uh, some of it. <laughs> he he convinced me that it's okay to do accents because as long as I'm not going up to a person of color and like treating them like they have to sound like the fucking dumb voice that I'm doing. Yeah, you're like using it derogatorily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. It's very hard to do an accent and not sound derogatory. Though. What you I'm know? saying is like if you use it as a way to demean someone. Sure. Like, like Which to, is hard to not, you yeah, know. What, what I, I get what I, you're I, saying. Yeah. But like if in the context of a conversation, I guess I don't fucking know. What do I know? <laughs> but I also don't give a fuck if they can't, if cancel me. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, so <laughs> James, the, James's eyes just for a second. He's the like, knowledge, oh, okay. <laughs> this guy's a maniac. The knowledge <laughs> that you have is the curse of mine with my love of accents is like, I, I get, I get why it's problematic that I will do like, an accent of a Hispanic guy. Like I, I get it. Yeah. But then I go in my life when I'm doing those accents, it's They're because fun. It's, it's <laughs> They're be fun. It's like, because of the one guy why. that I met that sounded like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the accent that I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not saying, Oh man, you know, people from Mexico, Oh, flip quesadilla. The blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. I don't know. Del I, Fuego. I can't even do you bad know those accents. Mexicans and their quesadillas. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Those fucking guys yeah. and the, the the food they eat. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah, mega. Flipping them. That's how they make them. Yeah, they flip them. Fucking wall. <laughs> it took Damn. you an hour and a half. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how excited you are about it. Uh, I do what get time very does Kelly excited. start? Nine? Right. No, it starts at ten. All right, I think so it starts at nine now. No, sign up is from nine until ten. I just looked Ooh. at the thing. I hate when they do that. I know. Who runs it now? Fucking. Same time next week? Do you want me to say? Yes. yes. Uh oh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the formula. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have like a punchline, but. I don't know how to get there, really. Okay. So I'm just going to start explaining. We'll go memento style? <clears throat> no. Nice. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to say a bunch of shit and then the punchline and then it'll be kind of random. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, big surprise. It's about vaginas again. Yeah. Hey, all right. <laughs> okay. You got one of those. <laughs> wow. I, I, we were talking about all that wet ass puss. I was wondering when it was going to come up. <laughs> um, so, so when you're transitioning... Um, there's kind of like a, a part of you that's like really shallow, like in vain, even though you don't really want to be like, you, you're kind of like, man, I, I do kind of want to be hot at <laughs> the same, <laughs> like, it'd be nice. Um, and like, you're thinking about how things are going to look like specifically like, oh, I really hope my vagina <laughs> looks good. <or> like, <laughs> like, I hope it's like the best looking vagina and and uh, I hope it's like real deep, like I want like a, sar <laughs> a sarlacc pit down there. <laughs> like I hope it just goes all the way. 
Um, which is not always the case, unfortunately. <laughs> Such a good reference. Keep going. <laughs> um, a lot of times what happens is, is like, uh, it gets, it's a little short. Okay. So basically I end up being a shallow cunt with a shallow oh. cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's really good. The setup was fine. Yeah. 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 That's this, really and, funny. And to include the Sarlacc pit thing in there mm-hmm. is... Yeah, that's, that's funny. Star Wars, that's, right? Yeah. That's what eats Jango Fett. Or Bo... <laughs> no, eats Boba Fett. Yeah. Jango dies at the hand of Mace Windu. Yeah. Do you guys know Ellie Hino, right? Yeah. Best vagina joke. She's so funny. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to say... <laughs> I mean, I guess I can say them, but... I was oh, going to say, we usually compliment the... Oh yeah, that was that was awesome, and it reminded me. It was so good. It reminded me of you know Ellie's. Yeah, which I, yeah. That's usually a good sign. Yeah, when you're like, oh. when you're like, oh, that reminds me of another joke. Because you were was. talking about like how you wanted to like look nice, and she talks about like you know it looks nice at first, and then it's like yeah, but like you know what happens after you have a kid? Go home, get your little mirror, uh, the flaps, count them. <laughs> she's like, it looks like you threw up a Reuben on the floor. Like it's so she's so funny. She's like, oh god, yeah, Ellie's so funny. She is. Yeah, and so nice, but yeah. Mara, excellent job. Yeah, that's shallow, so that's a great yeah, job. The shallow count with the shallow count. <laughs> that's so good. The line "I hope it's deep" is something that I've never even thought of. Yeah, ever. That is well, and and it's funny. Um, I don't know if it's funny. It's interesting, maybe, to think that as you were transitioning, and obviously you were privy to the idea or to the fact that they're not always that way. So like when you say that without us knowing that that's the case, like I, I can't imagine, um, as straight males that, um, put our penises in vaginas. I can't imagine that I've ever, I don't think I've ever reflected like that's the deepest pussy I've ever. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, I have a question. (laughs) Can you like request that? Can you be like, dude, Ooh. make it like, dude, dude, make it deep? Totally. Or is it just like kind of random? Because they like, can grab. She's like, I want this thing like deep water yeah. horizon. No, yeah. no, for real. Like, uh, they can get skin from like your inner thigh. Wow. Okay. Do, like, so, an extension. so you can, you, so you can just be. Like, does it cost more to make it deeper? Yeah. Oh, that's nuts. What? Okay. And you, like, I could you gotta go talk in, about that too. That's so funny. I could go in and get like uh, an extension on it. <laughs> so like, so like the so deeper, the, rich get the richer, deeper, even in transition, the deeper your vagina is, is a sign of wealth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They're like. They're it's like like, she just goes so far. She's got, she's got a lot of fucking money, dude. Like, like one day, that's how they're gonna me- they're gonna take some wand that yeah, changes yeah. colors with heat, and they're just gonna stick it up and pull it out. Like, yeah, dude, I was in her room. Peasant. Her dildo's like fifteen inches, dude. I think I'm fucking, <laughs> dude. I fucking got it. She's rich. I'm gonna be swimming in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something that kind of ties in is like, I don't know, like it kind of related is like. Uh, before there's always this concern of like how far out it goes <laughs> and then it's kind of like you're worried about how far in it goes yeah, yeah. and it doesn't translate Total 180 exactly. like, yeah yeah <laughs> that because it I wasn't mean, four inches going just, out motherfucker right, right. <laughs> yeah I just, there's a I, solid I, five something out <laughs> that's so funny to think about too like if you instead of saying the word deep if you said long like this is a completely different conversation yeah yeah the, well, we talked about this. Was it last week? How I, like I wanted a longer vagina. How huh? <laughs> how funny the concept! Like watching the crowd start to go. That is how that would work. Like because you're you're saying things that auto, like quickly make sense, but are things that people never thought of. Yeah, that makes jokes. People are invested so quickly. Well, when you can get an aha and a laugh yeah, at the same aha, time, that... it's like that's a fucking win. yes, yeah. Because so it's neat. like it's proof of concept at the same time as funny. Like yeah. Also, it's good writing stuff that's like personal to you. Yeah, it's a yeah very well. And I think we talked about this that. last time. It's like mm-hmm. there aren't a lot of people that can write real true personal stories about these kinds of things and yeah. make them fun. It's also informal. So. Like I didn't know that. I didn't know you had to like cost an arm and a leg to get a deep vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. How'd you become a quadriplegic? <laughs> Every inch is like I don't a know, thousand dollars. Stick your head up there. <laughs> uh, can I get a quote for an eight inch deep vagina? <laughs> How much is that going to be? Oh man, that's so funny. That is very funny. Like, uh, 
it makes me think of like like a mortgage like the bigger plot of land obviously you have to have a bigger mortgage makes me think of pimp my ride <laughs> <laughs> like i want like an arcade machine in there yeah. <laughs> they, dude you don't want, you you don't want a celica with a toaster in the console <laughs> yeah. you want a fucking a ball fish tank <laughs> back there dude when you when you when they see the type of when they saw the type of insurance that I had, they were like, oh, they hit a button and then Exhibit kicked in the door and was like, yo, we got to pimp out your pussy, <laughs> which has a totally different connotation. That's how we bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we make Exhibit famous again. Dude, <laughs> transgender Exhibit would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking he was, but The X sure. stands for transition. Sure. Totally. I mean, I was just thinking that he's the same old guy. He's just <laughs> now. Oh, progressive. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind right, of the whole. Right. Yeah. Because he's not progressive. Uh, listen to the Chronic 2001 and listen to the song, <laughs> What's the Difference? And you'll hear exactly how. Ooh. I mean, even Dre was. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. F, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean. Pa- Ice Cube was. <laughs> Paging Doctor. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ice Cube was. I mean, he uh. wrote the song No Vaseline. You know what that song's about? No. No Vaseline. Dry skin. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 is it about uh, dry guys? You know, n- not using anything to jerk off with? Uh, not using anything to get fucked in their butt with. Uh, the whole song is about him butt raping everyone from NWA. Oh, that's unpleasant. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you with no Vaseline. You, know, m- me and my brother call it betraping <laughs> to make it sound fancy. <laughs> he was betrayed. <laughs> oh my goodness! How You're could he afford that? No Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to pay a dime. <laughs> it's not expensive. Why so can't they betraped? No, the Vaseline. Oh, yeah, I know. We were talking about Betrape. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a courtesy. It's a brand of Vaseline. Ah, <laughs> Betrape. <laughs> Did you know that Vaseline is a brand of Vaseline? Because yeah. oh, petroleum yeah. jelly. Oh, is sure. Aquaphor and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah dumb yeah, as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yar. But yeah, also, yeah. 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 I, the other night, Caitlin and I watched an episode of something and I cried. Uh, and I did the, I'm not hard, you're hard. And she was like, what? <laughs> and then I was like, I'm not crying, you're crying. And then she laughed. It's so great to use it in the wild like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, Out like, in the couple, field. I don't know. It was a couple weeks ago. I, instead of saying, I'm not crying, you're crying, I said, I'm not hard, you're hard. <laughs> and I feel like that should just be used every time now. Yeah. I agree. Especially about sad stuff. Because yeah. people will be like, what? You like, you're like, go up to like some weeping person in the street like, Hey, dude, don't be so hard. Yeah. <laughs> On yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, you're right, watching right. like Schindler's List. Aren't you? Yeah. I'm not hard. You're dude, hard. Are you hard what? right now? Are you hard watching Boy in the Striped Pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> that's a double whammy. Because <laughs> that's an incredibly sad movie. Yeah. And it's La Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. God damn it. That's really funny. Should we, do you think, could you do your impression of. Oh, Chris D'Elia? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. I love how Chris did okay. say it. Chris was. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, this is my presentation of Crystalia. Right. Uh, uh, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Sixteen-year-olds. They're just so cute. How can you not? Come, come on, guys. Sixteen-year-old uh, girls with their little uh, little permits. Their little <laughs> driver's permits. Their little school IDs. <laughs> come on. I can't be alone. <laughs> They're little uh, backpacks with textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Underage girls, gays, come on. <laughs> Do you get the hand motion yeah, just perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's like fluid, but still yeah. structured. <sighs> it's like al dente pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Same time next week. Dude, absolutely. absolutely. Dude. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, absolutely. Dude, absolutely.